Imagine waking up to find your entire cantaloupe crop withering under a week-long heat wave, while overseas buyers cancel orders because of salmonella scares. In today's Eggery 360X, airing at 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily, let's dive into the high-stakes world of cantaloupe farming. Over 4,000 years ago, wild melons grew along the Nile Delta. Today, cantaloupe is a multi-billion dollar industry. In 2023, global production of netted melons topped 30 million, led by China, 14 met, Turkey, 2 met, and the United States, 3 million melons and yet, behind these dazzling figures lies a simmering conflict between PR and peril, tradition and technology. From here, let's uncover 1. Climate extremes, O. Oh. In 2022, California endured a record 40-day heat wave. Field temperatures soared above 45 degrees C, causing up to 30% crop loss in some regions. Melons exposed to prolonged heat suffer sunburned rinds and reduced sweetness. 2. Pest and disease outbreaks So, oh. The invasive cucumber beetle and fungal blight can destroy entire fields within days. In 2021, a blight outbreak in Arizona forced growers to spray fungicides weekly driving OPEX up by 15%. 3. Water scarcity and competition O cantaloupes require 600-700 mm of water per season. But in drought-stricken regions, farmers compete with urban areas and almond orchards for scarce irrigation. Water prices in central Arizona have doubled since 2018. 4. Food safety crises O salmonella recalls in 2019 wiped out $150 million in melon sales in the U.S eroding consumer trust. One single contamination incident can shutter packing lines and derail contracts. 5. Labor shortages and costs o harvest demands 10,000 plus seasonal workers in peak months, yet visa restrictions and COVID-era migration shifts left fields half-staffed, forcing some growers to pay overtime premiums of 25 to 40 percent. These conflicts converge to create tightrope-like tension. Every decision risks profit, reputation, even the farm's future. Next, we'll explore how cutting-edge solutions are turning the tide. Innovative Cultivation Solutions 1. Precision Irrigation and Soil Management O oh, drip irrigation with soil moisture sensors delivers water directly to the root zone. Maria Lopez cut her water use by 35% while boosting yield by 12%. O. Oh, cover cropping and organic mulches improve soil structure, slowing evaporation and suppressing weeds, key in heat-prone valleys. 2. Integrated Pest Management IPM. O oh, instead of broad-spectrum sprays, growers deploy pheromone traps and biological controls, ladybugs for aphids, nematodes for beetle larvae. This reduced chemical use by 60%, lowered costs, and met stricter export standards. 3. Climate-controlled high tunnels O. Oh. In Arizona's Yuma region, some farms now use solar-powered hoop houses that regulate temperature and humidity extending harvest windows by four to six weeks, and guarding against sudden freezes. 4. Disease-resistant varieties, O plant breeders at UC Davis and USDA, have released Sun Gold 23, a cantaloupe strain with built-in resistance to fusarium wilt and powdery mildew, maintaining 95% field survival in trials. 5. Robotics and AI. Monitoring O drone-mounted cameras and AI algorithms flag early signs of water stress or pest invasion, triggering targeted sprays or supplemental irrigation only where needed, saving labor and chemicals. These innovations aren't just nice to have, they're fast becoming survival tools in a world where one misstep can cost millions. But even the best nurtured melon faces peril once picked. Let's unpack the post-harvest battleground. Harvest, post-harvest. Crisis and fixes conflict time versus quality. A cantaloupe loses sweetness and shelf life the moment it's harvested. Heat in transport vans and delays at packing lines can drop marketable yield by 25%. Tension points. 1. Manual versus mechanized harvest. O oh, manual pickers can damage up to 10% of fruit. Mechanical harvesters chop bins faster but bruise melons if speeds aren't calibrated precisely. 2. Cooling and cold chain breakdowns. Oh, ideally, fruit should hit 2 degrees within 90 minutes of harvest. Yet in 2022, port congestion in Los Angeles saw melons sit at 12 degrees C for 8 hours, slashing shelf life in half. 3. Sanitation and food safety. Opacking oh, lines must be sterilized between shifts. 
a single lapse led to the 2019 recall. Growers now use UVC irradiation tunnels to sanitize crates and conveyor belts in under three minutes. Solutions On-farm cooling hubs, small walk-in coolers at the field edge enable immediate pre-cooling. Maria's farm installed a solar-powered cold room, cutting time to cool by 40 minutes. Smart logistics, blockchain-enabled traceability ties each melon crate to grower, field, harvest time, and cooling data so buyers can verify chain of custody and temperature logs in real time. Flexible packaging. Modified atmosphere liners in crates extend shelf life by controlling O2 CO2 levels, gaining an extra five to seven days on supermarket shelves. These fixes keep freshness intact, rebuild consumer trust, and protect margins, transforming harvesting from a race against time into a managed process. Finally, let's broaden our view to global markets, conflict zones, and the future of sustainable melons. Global market tensions and sustainability. One, trade disputes and tariffs. In 2021, a citrus greening outbreak in Florida led the EU to increase inspections on US melons, delaying shipments and prompting Mexican growers to fill the gap, reshaping trade flows. Two, economic inequality and smallholder exclusion. Oh, small farmers in Guatemala and Honduras supply up to 30% of U.S. imports but lack infrastructure for cold chain or certifications. Global JAP. Many are squeezed out by large agri-conglomerates unless cooperatives form and share resources. 3. Environmental Footprint and Water Rights Oh, cantaloupe's water footprint, over 1,200 liters per kilogram, raises ethical questions in drought zones. Progressive states like Arizona now auction water rights, forcing growers to innovate or downsize. 4. Climate resilience and carbon footprint O transitioning to regenerative practices, no-till cover crops, and solar-powered coolers can cut net greenhouse emissions by 40%. Large buyers like Whole Foods now demand carbon-neutral produce by 2030. Path Forward Collaborative Platforms Digital marketplaces connect smallholders to international buyers, pooling orders to justify cold chain investments. Certification and premium branding. Desert Gold Cantaloupe, grown with IPM and solar energy, commands a 20% price premium in Japan and Europe. Agri-policy and water markets. Forward-looking water policies reward efficient use. Growers who reduce use by over 30% earn credit toward next season's allocations. By tackling conflicts, trade, equity, environment, cantaloupe farming can thrive sustainably, securing livelihoods and delighting consumers worldwide. From ancient origins to today's high-tech fields, cantaloupe's journey is fraught with heat waves, pests, supply chain crises, and market wars. Yet through innovation, precision irrigation, IPM, robotics, smart logistics, growers are turning peril into profit. Which challenge surprised you most? Would you invest in solar-powered cold rooms or AI drone scouting? What feature should Desert Gold Cantaloupes highlight next? Drop your insights in the comments, like if you learned something new, and subscribe to Agri360X, your twice-daily deep dive into agri-innovation. See you at 7am or 7pm, and until next time, keep farming smart.